All right, so a little Pilates flow with isometric work today. Weren't you saying you wanted to do some isometrics? <laughs> that was before I had it. Before. <laughs> We're going to launch you back in the deep end, Jules. Okay, so come and stand towards the back end of your mat. And you feeling okay? Body good? Yeah, okay, awesome. So double check that your feet are in line with each other. Just let your arms relax nice and easy. Maybe just rock a little bit forwards and backwards, side to side. And then just allow yourself to center, standing evenly on your feet. And close your eyes for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and sigh. And then keeping your eyes softly closed. Taking a moment just to slow down. Connecting into your body this morning. Noticing how you feel. Noticing perhaps any areas of tension that you're holding on to. Just taking a moment to make your conversation that you might be having with yourself to just drift past and make yourself become fully present and focused in your body and on your mat this morning. And taking one more deep breath in through the nose, open your mouth and sigh. Linking your eyes open, bring yourself back into your space. Let's start with the roll down. Take an inhale to grow tall. Exhale as you nod your chin, and just start peeling forward through your spine. So your body might still be a little bit cold. You haven't really warmed up yet. So don't force it on this first roll down. Just go as deep as it feels comfortable for you. And then when you reach your bottom position, stay there. Notice where you're feeling it. Center yourself on both your feet. And then slowly coming all the way back up. Feeling abdominal support you. Rooting into the heels of your feet and allowing your eye line to float up. Just roll your shoulders back and around for a moment. Opening up across the collarbones. Feel that little squeeze between the shoulder blades. And then just allow your arms to settle. And again, inhale, find a little bit of height. Exhale as you nod your chin. And just feeling each vertebra start to peel forward. Not forcing it, just allowing yourself to melt over. Find the weight of your crown, find the weight of your hands. And when you reach your bottom position, once again, pause. Just notice if things are starting to ease up a little bit. Take another breath in. And exhale, up you come. Feeling the support from the front of your body, feeling the engaging along the back of your body as you come all the way up. And then once again, as you stand tall, roll the shoulders back and around. And then just let your arms settle. Let your hands come forward as you bend the knees. And then let your arms come down as you straighten the knees. And again, bend and straighten. And we're going to do another one just like this. And now as you reach forward, round your spine. Feel that opening between the shoulder blades and release. And again, round the spine. And one more time, just like this. And up. And now round your spine, reach forward. And this time when you come up, bring your arms a little bit behind you and lift your chest. And again, round your spine, reach. And then straighten your knees, bring the arms a little bit behind you and you're coming into a little bit of a back extension. One more time, round the spine. And 
Lengthen, maybe a little bit of extension, and then this time just settle. Take another breath in, and exhale, nod your chin, and start moving into your third and final roll down for this warm up. Coming all the way down, bend your knees if you need to, get your fingertips or the palms of your hands flat to the ground. And let's just bend and straighten both knees so we get that little release into the hamstrings. Bending and straightening. Finding that stretch through the calf muscles, the hamstrings. Notice where you're feeling it today. And then bend both your knees, walk your hands forward, and come down onto all fours. So take a moment to just set yourself up, getting your wrists into a comfortable position, just getting that feeling of sliding the shoulders away from the ears, and then I want you to tuck your toes under, and we're going to go into a four-point hover. So as you push into the hands and feet, see if you can lift your knees off the ground, and this is our first isometric exercise. So as you hover your knees, nothing is moving, but you can feel all the muscles around the joints of your body working, engaging, firing up. Please keep breathing, keep reaching through the crown of your head, keep engaging into those abdominals for three, two, one, lower your knees down and just relax your feet all the way out. Let's go into a little bit of a cat stretch now. Rounding your spine, stay here for a moment. Let your hips move back towards your heels. Decide how far back you want to go. And then come forward again. Shoulders above wrists and then lengthen your spine and coming into a little bit of an extension if it feels okay for your back. Round your spine, sucking the belly button up towards your spine, and then sit your hips back towards your feet, and you can feel that there's very little pressure on the wrists now. Enjoy that break, and then come forward, and then lengthen tailbone out, lift your heart, and lift your eye line. And let's take two more. Rounding through the spine. Start moving the hips back. And coming forward. Lengthen, lifting your tail, your heart, your gaze. One more time, rounding the spine. And then moving the hips back. Come forward, and this time, just come to a neutral position and hold it here. Stretch one leg back, tuck the toes under on the ground. Double check that you still have your wrists in a comfortable place under your shoulders. Start pushing into your hands and your foot, and see if you can slide the left leg back to join. So you've come into a plank position now. And again, this is a classic isometric exercise. Nothing is moving, but guaranteed you can feel that it's working. Reach through your crown, reach through your heels. Feel how your abdominals are supporting you along with your bum cheeks. Gluteus maximus is a very powerful muscle to support you here. Three, two, one. Slide one knee in. Slide the other knee in, and then balance on your right hand. Reach the left hand out, and coming into a thread the needle. So rotating yourself all the way through. And then decide what you'd like to do today. You can stay here. Maybe you want to slide the right hand out. Maybe you want to place your right hand in your lower back. And just taking an opportunity to breathe, releasing those muscles that have been holding your body isometrically. 
taking all the pressure off your hands and wrists for a moment. So especially for women, a lot of us find that all of that weight bearing, the biggest strain is actually on our hands and wrists. And then bringing the right hand back in, all the way up you come, reach the left hand out to the side and now hold it here. Close your eyes. And once again, nothing is moving. You are balancing on your right hand, both your knees, left arm to the side. And once again, this is an isometric focus. Nothing is actually moving, but can you feel the work? Notice how you find a connection into the abdominals here as well. We spoke about this a lot when we did our sling patterns last week. Open your eyes and placing left hand down. Reaching right hand out to the side, coming into a thread the needle to the other side. Make yourself settle. And then sliding the left hand forward if you like. Or placing your hand into your back or just staying as you are. And once again, just allowing yourself to release and soften all those muscles that have been working to support your joints. One more breath in and out. Bringing your left hand onto the floor, all the way up you come, reaching right hand to the side, now stay here. Close your eyes and finding your balance here on three limbs with the right arm out to the side and finding your isometric contraction. Stay with your breath. And opening eyes, bringing that right hand back underneath you. Tuck your toes under. Once again, you're going to hover your knees just up off the ground. Start to move a little bit forward over your wrists and then move a little bit backwards so that your hips are coming over your feet. And again, come forward and press back. Now come forward. Now press back and then send your hips up and away. Stay here with your knees bent, but your arms are straight and your spine is lengthened. Take a moment to pedal the heels down one at a time. You guys know what a fabulous stretch this is for the back of the leg. And then send both heels down. It doesn't matter if your legs are bent or straight. I want you to stay here for a moment and bring your awareness once again to the isometric work that is taking place in your upper body. Noticing all the muscles around the hands and the wrists. Noticing all the muscles around the elbow. Noticing the muscles around the shoulders and around the upper back. Find the connections. Stay with your breath. Taking one more inhale and exhale. And then lower your knees all the way down. Release your feet out. Open your knees and take a moment to sit back into a resting position. Make yourself as comfortable as possible and let's bring our hands together in prayer position. Bend your elbows and take your hands behind your neck. And you're probably going to feel a bit of a stretch along the triceps at the back of the arm. And so this is one of the first places where you can start to notice the effect of that holding. So we haven't actually done any tricep dips, but can you feel how it's stretching because those muscles had to work to hold you?
Taking one more breath in and out. And stretching your arms forward and walking your hand backwards towards your knees. I want you to come all the way upright and just letting those arms reach out in front of you. Separate your knees and feet slightly. Firm up the lower abs and the bum cheeks. Now you're going to let your hips move backwards, but reach your body forward at the same time. And then press back up. And again, reach and press. Good. So because your body weight is coming forward, there should be very little strain around the knees or around the lower back, especially because you're keeping those abs nicely connected. Now, if this is feeling good for you, it's a nice challenge, you're just going to keep this going. But if you would like an extra challenge, how about keeping your spine upright and press up? Can you feel that it works? All of these quadricep muscles much, much more. And decide if you're going to lean forward or spine upright. Here comes a little bit of a nasty. Sit back halfway and you don't get to move. This is isometric work. Can you feel those quadriceps? Keep breathing. Energy through the fingertips. If it becomes too much, please shift your body weight forward. We're staying here for three. Two, one, all the way up you come, let your hands come down. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> and we're going to inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, bringing the arms wide. And now, just bringing your right arm up to the side, leaning up and over. Stay here and let's do some gentle pulses. Feel free to turn your head if you need. Two more. One more. All the way up you come. And now the left arm. Reach it up and out. Over you go into your lateral lines and gentle pulses. Two more. Last one. All the way up you come and relax. Move your hips over to the left. Moving your feet over towards the right. And we're just going to start to do a gentle twisting of the spine. So figure out the best positioning for your legs. A little twist and a little twist. And a little twist. And a little twist. Make your arms help you as much as you need without actually forcing anything. One more. Come to center. Swing your feet up and around to the other side. And holding it there. And again, little twist. And do you notice when you rotate towards the bent hip, that's called a closed twist. It's definitely more restricted than when you do an open twist. Last one. And center. Bring your feet all the way around to the front. Knees bent. Separate your legs slightly. We're going to go into a roll back. So arms are out. Take a breath in. Exhale, draw the tail under, holding it here for a moment, and exhale, come forward and lift up tall. We're going to do three more. Exhale, pause for a moment, and exhale forward, lift up. Last two.
And now on this last one, we're going to be staying there. So you need to figure out how far back can you go without taking strain in the back. Stay here, and I invite you to close your eyes so that you can really draw your awareness to all of these subtle, and maybe not so subtle, connections that are taking place in your body. So we are holding this position isometrically. Can you feel that connection into the lower abdominals? and the hip flexors. Notice on your own body if your lower back is trying to take over. If it is, then maybe you need to come up a little bit higher just to relieve that tension. Stay with your breath. Energy through fingertips. See if you can relax the neck and shoulders. Taking one more breath in. Open your eyes. Exhale, come all the way up into sitting. And now let's roll all the way down onto our backs. Using abdominals, coming all the way back, and just let your hands reach up towards the sky. So if you need to bring your feet in a little closer or your hips closer towards your pelvis, get yourself centered on your mat. And we're going to start to scissor the arms, just warming up the shoulder girdle, we're just going to do a few repetitions here, just so you can feel the movement around your joints. And now bring both hands straight up towards the sky and slowly take both arms backwards. And I want you to stop at a point where you feel that your ribs might lift or you're compensating. And then keep your arms hovering, they're not allowed to rest. And once again, close your eyes. So we have gone into an isometric contraction with the upper body. Can you feel all the muscles around the shoulder joints starting to engage? Start to notice them fire up keeping your arms suspended in the air. Ribs are closed. You're not going to let the ribs pop up. Noticing rotator cuff, the pectoral muscles, the lat muscles, feeling them starting to work. And then opening your eyes, bringing both arms straight up again. They probably feel super heavy now. Pause here and then once again, do your arm scissors. And do you have a different sense of awareness of the muscles that are working now that you did that isometric hold? A few more moments. And bringing both hands straight up and hold it here. Interlock your fingers, placing your hands underneath your head. Just wiggle out your spine for a second, move your ribs around, get your lower back into a happy place. And then settle here with your elbows just a little bit lifted into your periphery. Nod your chin. Breathe out as you come up into your first chest lift. And then inhale and release it back. And we're going to do three more. Make sure that you have stability into the pelvis. Make sure that your lower back feels okay wherever you are. Now lift up and I need you to stay here. Closing your eyes or just softening your gaze. Stay here and as you breathe, you're maintaining the height through the head and the shoulders. Do not pull on your head. Get the sensation of flattening the belly every time you exhale. Holding isometrically so you can feel the attachments for the upper abdominals are engaging here. They're working. Nothing's moving. Take another breath in. Open your eyes. Exhale and releasing your ribs down. Now we're gonna do more chest lift, nod your chin, exhale, and 
releasing down. So we're not holding isometrically anymore, but can you feel how much more ready those abdominals are to work now that you've woken them up? Last one. And releasing all the way down. Slide your hands out. Bring your hands just into a low V position on either side of the mat. And then walk your knees and your feet right next to each other. Pick up your right leg, crossing it over. And start rolling your legs towards the right. And look over the left shoulder. And then exhale, narrow the waist and draw yourself back to the center. Take your legs to the same side. So your knees go to the right. You look over the left shoulder. Exhale, draw back to the center. And it's like bringing water out of a sponge. So we're going to do two more. And now on this last one, rolling your legs to the side, do not rest your legs on the floor. I want you to hold the rotation. So you've taken your obliques muscles into a lengthened position. So it's an eccentric contraction, but now you're staying. And that means we're doing an isometric contraction right Bring your awareness to your left obliques that attach up to the ribs and feeling the connection on the diagonal across the body. Staying here, feel how your arms have to help you. Take a nice easy breath in and now exhale, shorten those abdominals and drag your legs all the way back to the center. Keep your legs crossed like they are. Bring both knees up into your chest. And then you can either just stay here with your hands on your knees or slide your hands down lower so that you intensify the stretch to get into that performance. Few more breaths in and out. And then on your next breath, just unwind your legs and take a moment to hug both knees in towards your chest. Put your right foot down, cross your left thigh over, hands a little wider than your mat, and now rolling your knees over towards the left. Look over your right shoulder. And then exhale and draw back to the center. And again. Rolling your legs over. And think of narrowing the waist as you come all the way back. We're going to do two more. And now on this last one, roll your legs over. Remember, you're not going to let them rest. And you're just going to stay here. And again, I invite you to close your eyes purely because it's easier sometimes to feel what's happening as opposed to when you have your eyes open. And now you can feel that there's a lengthening along the obliques, but this time coming from the right ribs. And then you're having to hold the tension on that muscle, working isometrically. Make sure that you're able to breathe still. Open, arms down. And taking one more breath in, opening eyes, exhale, and shortening those muscles now as you draw all the way back to the center. Bring both knees up into the chest, holding onto the knees, stay here just for a moment, and then if you want, slide your hands a little bit lower down your legs.
One more breath in and out. And then uncross your legs and hug them in nice and tight to your chest. Now placing both feet onto the ground, knees together, feet together, bring both hands up towards the sky. You're going to open your arms wide, breathing in, but don't let them rest. And then exhale, bringing the arms all the way up and maybe connect each fingertip to its partner. And again, open the arms wide and lifting hands up. Two more times. And on this last one, open your arms, don't let them rest and stay here. And again, you can close your eyes if you're comfortable with that, or you can keep them open. And I just want you to feel the connections all the way along the front of the chest, maybe down the arms, and notice the muscles that are supporting you here isometrically. Chest muscles, that's your pec major. The front of the shoulder, that's the front of the deltoid. The biceps muscles. You might even become aware of the muscles at the front of the wrists, the wrist flexors. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, open your eyes and bringing both hands all the way up. Now, interlock your fingers again. Put your hands underneath your head. And now with your elbows just floating in the corner of your eye, can you keep that sensation of that awareness to the chest, to the biceps, to the front of the shoulder? Nod your chin. Exhale, chest lift. Feeling that front arm line that you just woke up and releasing back down. And again, sliding the ribs forward. So oftentimes when we come up into our chest lift, we have so much awareness of the abdominals group that are working here, which obviously they are, that we kind of forget about the chest and the arms. So now that you just woke them up isometrically, can you give a little bit of awareness to the hammock that your arms are creating to support your head? And release. Now on this last one, come up into a chest lift and just stay here for a moment. Give me a little bit of a rotation towards the right and hold it there. Do you still have an awareness of your chest? Keep your right hand behind your head and put your left hand to the outside of your right leg. Now see if you can pull yourself up a centimeter higher, tighten those abdominals, and now put that left hand behind your head without anything moving. We are holding obliques isometrically. And then come back to the center and now rotate to the left. Hold it. Place your right hand to the outside of your left leg. Lift up just a little bit higher. Squeeze your legs together, stabilize. Put your right hand behind your head. Can you hold your position? Isometric work. Come back to the center. Lower head and shoulders down. And just take a two second reprieve to open the elbows relaxing the abdominals and the chest, because now we're gonna go back into our obliques and we're not gonna stop in between. So float your elbows, nod your chin, exhale, come up into your chest lift, and now rotating right to left, and side to side. So now that we did that little isometric contraction, can you feel how much more ready these muscles are to wake up? Squeeze your knees together, rooting into the feet, keeping your pelvis stable. Last one to the left, here we go. Come to the center, stop, and relaxing all the way down. Nicely done, guys. Stretch your legs out long, reaching the arms all the way back for a good morning stretch. 
Maybe do a little croissant one direction and a little croissant to the other side and come back to the center. Now, you're gonna bring your right leg in towards you. You can keep the left leg extended out nice and long. Slip your hands behind that leg, flexing the foot, and we're going to exhale as we extend and bend. And again. So always including a little bit of a hamstring release. We don't want the hamstrings to be a restricting factor with our movements if possible. Last one. And release. So I want you to stretch that right leg out. Bring the left leg up in towards your chest. Move your hands behind that knee, flexing the ankles, and we go extend. And bend. And remember as you do the stretch that you're trying to keep your head and shoulders nice and heavy on the ground. One more time. And release. Stretching your legs out. You want to squeeze your inner thighs, flex your ankles, and put your hands just on the front of your pelvic bones for a moment. And then pick up your right leg keeping it bent in the air and start now to extend your leg as straight as you can manage and then hold it there. So it doesn't matter if your leg is completely straight or not because I'm sure at a certain point you're going to start to become aware of the hip flexor and the quadricep muscles working isometrically. Feel free to close your eyes if it helps you focus on those connections. If there is any strain coming into the lower back, then maybe you need to bend that knee a little bit. Stay with your breath, feeling the abdominals connect, and then open your eyes, bend your knee, just hug it in for a second, maybe just give your feet and your ankles a little bit of a shake. And then you're going to come back to that same place. So flex the ankles, place your hands onto your pelvis at the front, and then extend the leg as straight as you can manage. And now we're going to add some movement. So you're going to lower the leg towards the floor, but don't let it rest and don't go all the way if there's any strain in your back. And then we lift the leg back up again. And again, lower. So start to notice, after we did that isometric hold, your brain immediately recognized those hip flexor muscles. And now as we do this leg lower and lift, this is hip disassociation, remember? Notice here how that muscle kicks in immediately. Feel how the abdominal muscles support you. Last one, lift up, hold. Once again, hug that knee towards you and just give the ankles and the feet a little bit of a shake and then stretch that right leg all the way out. Pick up the left leg, flexing the ankles and then extending that leg as straight as you can manage and holding it there. Find that isometric contraction on the left side and with your hands on your pelvis, start to become aware of maybe your pelvis is trying to roll. How can you help yourself stabilize? Remember, you can have your eyes open or closed. If it's feeling like it's really, really working hard, then you can move the leg away or bend the knee a little bit. And then open your eyes, hug that leg in towards you, and once again, giving the feet a little bit of a shake. And now we're going to add some movement. So extending the leg up, remember as straight as you can manage, we start to lower the leg and lifting it up. And it's so interesting as you move here to notice the difference perhaps on your own body. I can feel 
that this left side is much weaker. I can feel almost like it may be, it's not cramping, but it has that sensation. So I'm not able to lift my left leg as high as the right. And that's fine. I can feel the work. One more time. So this is functional strength here. Lift up and hold it. Bend that knee and hold on to it. And once again, giving those ankles and feet just a little bit of a shake. Good. Guys, stretch your legs all the way up long. We're going to go into a roll up from here. So squeeze legs together. You can point or flex. Start reaching your arms all the way back. No popping of the ribs. Become aware of the shoulder muscles that you've woken up. And now lift your arms, lift your head, and breathe as you roll forward. Coming to a point where you've got your nose just above your pubic bone. You can see your profile above your arms. Take a breath in and then roll yourself back down. Give a little squeeze with the bum cheeks. Yes. And reaching the arms back. Remember, you can give yourself support in your lower back if you need. And we go lift arms, lift head, exhale. Nose just above the pubic bone. Take a little breath in and exhale, down you go. And reach. One more time. Lift arms, lift head, exhale. Finding that C curve. Now listen up, take a breath in. And now roll back just enough that you feel a loading into the abdominals without any strain in the back. And we stay here. Isometric work. We did this at the beginning with our knees bent in the half roll back. Can we get our abdominal muscles to fire up just a little bit more, finding that isometric connection? Take a breath in, open your eyes if they're closed, and start rolling down again. Yes, and reach. One last one. Let's feel how those abs are firing up. Lift arms, lift head. Find that ab connection you just had, yes. And this time, go all the way forward and just make yourself relax over wherever it feels best for you. Let your head relax nice and heavy. Maybe turn your head a little bit. Take a breath in and then exhale, unravel and lifting all the way up and tall. Now, turn to lie on your side. So we're gonna lie on our right sides first. So make a little pillow with your arm or get a cushion to put underneath your head. Have your knees just a little bit bent and your hand goes onto the shelf of your hip. So you can monitor that nothing's moving. Take your top leg, your left leg, and stretch it out. And then flex your foot, so you're pushing out through the heel of the foot. And now just have a look down your body. Check that you're in a straight line from the ankle to the knee, to the hip, to the shoulder, to the ear. And then double check for yourself that you have your leg at about the same height as your left pelvis. So you're not letting your foot drop down and you're not lifting up yet. So we're starting with some isometric work here for that little gluteus medius muscle that sits on the side of the hip. And staying here just for a moment, chin lifted, shoulders away from the ears, find that little connection to the underneath oblique. And I'll see if you can lift your leg up, maybe about three inches higher. And keeping the bottom of the connected, we're not gonna stay here. So now you've lifted your leg, which means you are shortening those muscles, the gluteus medius muscles. And again, we're holding this isometrically. So for a lot of us, the little glute medius doesn't really like to work. And it's one of the reasons that maybe we have a very unstable lower back 
or a separate iliac joint. That's also maybe one of the reasons we take some strain in the ITD or the knee. Or some people, when they do this, when they're doing sideline leg lifts, all they feel is the sort of lower part of their leg here. Those are called the peroneal muscles or the fibularis muscles. And oftentimes that starts to take strain because of this, the glute medius isn't doing its job. Staying here for one more breath in and out, now that I've distracted you nicely. Let's start to move. Taking your leg down, but don't let it rest. And then lifting your leg up again. And again. So now we're only doing 10 of these. We don't have to do a gazillion of these. I want you to see if you can start to kick in to these little side gluteals immediately. Keeping that focus, making sure that you're keeping your pelvis, your torso stable, just working from that hip joint. We're only gonna take a few more. Hopefully you're feeling something. Last two. And one more time. Lift up, hold it here. We're back into isometric work. We're staying here for three, two, one. And bend that knee and relaxing it in. Good. Did you feel something, Jules? Yeah. Oh, me too. Left side. <laughs> Bring your knees up a little bit higher if you're sitting in a chair. Cradle the back of your neck. Let's just do one chest opener, thoracic rotation. Lift your arm, reaching all the way back. And we're gonna stay here now for three breaths in and out. Make any adjustments that you need to your pelvis, your knee. Relaxing into the back of your neck. One more breath in. And on the exhale, bringing yourself all the way to the front. Now, place your fingertips on the ground and stretch both legs out nice and long. So, you're going to lift both legs up in the air. And I want you to hold it. So, unfortunately, you're probably going to really feel that gluteus medius. It's not a bad thing. See if you can get into an oblique connection. And now, let's take the bottom leg down and up. Bottom leg down and up. Two more. One more. Squeeze it. And then lower both legs down. Now take your top leg, your left leg, and just do a little step forward in front of yourself. So you're going to stand that foot on the ground. It doesn't matter if your knee rolls in or out. You know, you just don't want to hold that leg in the air now. Now flex your right ankle, the underneath leg. And I want you to now lift that leg up. And we're going to stay here. So this is now an isometric contraction for the right inner thigh. Make any adjustments you need to your left leg placement so that it feels okay for you. And I want you to keep the right leg lifted. It doesn't have to be a big lift, but you need to have some workload onto that hip adductor muscle. Stay here just a few more seconds, just allowing your brain to recognize that connection. And then, Releasing all the way down. Take your top leg, stretch it out again. Squeeze your legs together and now lift both legs up. Shortening that top of the feet. Now do the lift and lower with that underneath leg. Can you feel that muscle kick in more quickly? Taking just a few more. Last one. And hold and relaxing all the way down. Bend your knees in. You can bring yourself up and just come and sit 
in a little bit of a balanced position for a moment. Tucking your chin in, rounding your spine, finding that ball shape. And then swing your legs around to the other side so that you can now lie on your left side. And we're going to do exactly the same sequence. So your knees are going to be a little bit bent in front of you. Put your hand onto the shelf of your hip. Take your top leg, your right leg now, stretch it out, flex the foot, and then have a quick look at your own alignment. Make sure that you've got that long line through the body and then put your hand on your underneath oblique and just feel a little bit of a connection there. And starting off with isometric and in a straight line, few more seconds here. And now, see if you can start to lift your right leg up a little bit. Don't let your torso move. Keep your pelvis still. And then holding it there now so you have shortened the gluteus medius on that right side. And now we're holding it isometrically. Let your brain connect to the muscle. Find your mental focus. Just a few more seconds here. And then let's start to move that top leg. So take your time as you lower the leg down. Don't let it rest. And lifting your leg back up. And be very deliberate in your movements. And see if you can fire up that gluteus medius immediately as you work. Lowering and lifting. Taking just a few more. And again, noticing on your own body if the side is maybe stronger than the other side, if it connects a little bit more immediately, if it maybe it's got more endurance. And for most of us that are right handed, this will be our stronger side. But you never know. Just observe, last two, last one, and hold it at the top, and bend that knee, and give your tushies a little bit of a rub. All right, now bring your knees up higher. Let's do one thoracic rotation. So hold on to your head and your neck with the left hand. Right hand comes up, open up the chest, Taking that arm all the way back behind you. And let's just stay here for a few breaths in and out. One more time, breathing in and out. And then bringing your arm all the way back to the front. And then just placing your fingertips to the ground, straighten out both your legs. If you need any padding underneath your hip, by the way, then give yourself the padding that you need. We're going to start lifting both legs up so that you can hold your legs in the air, find your oblique connection. And now just the bottom leg lifts up and down. Take two more, one more, and hold, and bring both legs down. Now take your top leg, your right leg, just step it in front of you. If it feels better to just lay it on its side with a pillow underneath, that's fine as well. Flex your bottom leg, so your left ankle is flexed, and now pick up your left leg, and you hold it there. So you're starting to find the inner thigh muscles now on the left leg, the hip adductors. Again, doesn't have to be a big lift, but you want to be able to suspend your leg in the air and start to find the connections to those inner thighs. Isometrics, nothing is moving. Guys, remember that you've got to use your abdominals as well, hey? 
Make sure that your lower back is supported the whole time. Keep breathing. Staying here for another three, two, one, and releasing that leg down. Now stretch your legs out long again. Nice long spine. Pick up both legs. You're gonna feel the gluteals and the obliques connecting. Now start moving the bottom leg down and up and see if you can find the connection to the left adductor, the left inner thigh. Few more. Last two, last one, hold it and releasing it down. Nicely done. Exactly where you are, roll onto your stomachs. And we're just going to come into a little bit of a back extension. So have your legs maybe a little bit apart. Place your hands on either side of your shoulders, elbows to the ground. Nice long spine so that you're creating some space between each vertebra. And let's come up into a little cobra. We're going to inhale to come up. And exhale to release down. And again, inhale to come up. And exhale to release down. Now one more time, inhale to come up and exhale to stay here. Make sure that your gluteals are active to keep your pelvis stable, legs on the floor. And then see if you can lift both your arms. Just tap off the ground. And then again, I invite you to close your eyes or just to soften your gaze. And start to feel your back extensor muscles holding you here. Feel that little bit of a squeeze between the shoulder blades. Staying supported, finding the back line of your body. Isometric work for the back extensors now. And then open your eyes, place your arms down, and then lower your head and shoulders. And now just three more baby cobra. Inhale to come up. And exhale, release down. Can you find the connections? So that as you come up, you immediately can feel all of those back extensor muscles engaged. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Tuck your hands under your shoulders so your elbows are poking up. Press up onto all fours and then settle yourself back once again into a resting position and put your arms wherever feels good for you. You just want to make sure that you have a rounded spine so that it's a nice counterbalance for the extension that you just did. Nice, easy breathing. And then take your time as you bring yourself up onto all fours, getting your wrists below shoulders, knees below hips, tucking your toes under, and bringing your knees just up off the ground. Start to move your body weight a little bit forwards and then a little bit backwards, just a couple of times. And then on your last one, send your hips up and back so that you can come once again into your inverted V or your downward facing dog, pedaling the heels. And then push both heels towards the ground. And once again, stay here. And letting your body hold the shape. Pressing away from your hands to find your isometric work through the upper body. 
reaching gently down through the heels of the feet. And then in your own time, soften your knees, walking your feet halfway forward up your mat, and then walking your hands backwards towards your toes, and then just dangle them. Maybe give your head a little bit of a shake, nod your head, let yourself hang nice and heavy, and then take your time as you unravel Rolling all the way up into standing, bringing your eye line up, rolling your shoulders back and around. And then you are welcome to stay as you are. I'm just going to turn so that I'm facing towards the front. Feet slightly apart, and then taking a moment to close eyes. Bringing your awareness to all the muscles around your joints, the muscles around the ankles, the muscles around your knees, the muscles around the bottom of your pelvis, the muscles around the top of your pelvis. muscles at the front of your torso and the muscles at the back of your body. Notice the muscles around your shoulders, your elbows and your wrists. Notice how they have all woken up this morning. And take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and sigh. Blinking your eyes open. And just taking one deep breath in, reaching arms up. And exhale, open your arms nice and wide. And rolling your shoulders back. I have your back, Jules. If you're okay, right. fantastic. The isometrics, you asked for it. Yes, I love that. 